what, right? We have no problem with mosques being built over here, so long as we can build mosques in, in, in Mecca. Yeah, I'd love to see that. I would love to see a mosque being built in Mecca. An exhibition of sheer ignorance and illiteracy. How I wish you came out and asked for your education first. You came out and asked for the repatriation of people who stopped you from getting an education. That is what you really need. Actually, when people came out saying that immigrants and Muslims have come and they are annihilating our cultures and our values and the British values, we thought these people were really serious and that they meant what they were saying. We thought they were coming out to cry for values that people would love to emulate. We thought that when they come out, they will show us values that will make others feel jealous of them. We thought that when they came out, they were really going to show that what Britain and British value stands for is far more superior to what Islam preaches. It's far more better than any other value in the world. But actually, the end result was that all average British citizens were ashamed of all their actions. Looting has never been the value of any community. Stealing and robbing shops has never been the value of any respectful community. Thuggery can never ever be the values of a community that is worth emulating. Looting shops and threatening the peace of a society is what terrorists do and not people who are out to fight for positive values. They went out again trying to tarnish the image of Islam. And Allah used it perfectly against them. See what happened. Like the positive and lovely image of Muslims was painted everywhere. And the Christians and non-Muslims started talking. You see in the comment sections of so many of this video, they say, I am not a Muslim, but I love what Muslims are doing. I'm not a Muslim, but I love Islam so much. Why? Because they saw the truth. So those people, instead of bringing down Islam, they helped prom to promote Islam and the teachings of Islam. As protests from far-right groups continue to spread across the UK, this photo of an imam hugging a protester is going viral. 41-year-old Adam Kelwick is an imam at Abdullah Kilian Mosque, which is Liverpool's oldest mosque. Last night, Adam was met with a group of 50 far-right demonstrators, some of which were protesting against the mosque. After some time, Adam decided to interact with the protesters and listen to them, saying sometimes people just want to be heard. Amazing bridges were built, we shook hands with people, we hugged people, we gave out food to people, he said. It did not only stop at that. So many of them started embracing Islam because of the activities of the far right. Jordan, how long have you been looking into Islam? Since the protest. Since the protest, yeah. Have you? Afternoon and then in English. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. And, and la, la ilaha ilaha illa ila Allah Allah wahdahu walahu la la sharik sharik lahu lahu wa wa ashhadu ashhadu anna anna muhammadan muhammadan rasul rasul Allah. So we thank the far right so much for helping us do that wa indirectly and call people to Islam. They plan and plot against Allah, and Allah plan and plots against them, and Allah is the best of planners.